And we're back with potentially the last game of this weekend. As uh, Esports Gaming are ha gonna have to look for the 2 0 comeback. Quinn taken away again from Nicky Thicky. They are gonna force him back onto. Uh, whoop, onto this uh, Garen. Well, Esports Gaming reactive, taking away most of the things, uh, making quick plate. Casting taken away along with the Senna. Just a question of whether they're gonna play on that Jax as well, or possibly try to first pick it. Not sure if Nikitik actually plays Jax though. And he's gonna go away in the end. Horn, of course, banned by the red side. But now a lot of champions open that uh, Mickey Quick could be playing. They could be going for the Sintra LeBlanc. Uh, Masked Bro could actually go for the Vayne if he wants to. Probably not going to go for it, but still. Aatrox open for the top lane. And again with Esports Gaming prioritizing Estriol. Yon could be going for the Thresh as well. So could be picking up that uh, this time around along with the Sintra potentially. But it's probably not going to be a high priority. As MF does end up being locked in. I think I said that a thousand times uh, last time around yesterday that Brom makes MF go cry unless he's on MF's side. Brom also pretty good against Ezreal as the unbreakable from Brom can lock down most of the things Ezreal is throwing out. Aphilos has not been seen at all. Not even a little bit. Yep. Gadiopia picked up for uh, Esports Gaming. Uh, could be a go in order to Ips. It was banned last time around. Now just thinking about what they want to pick next. No rush really to pick up a support. I could go for the Leon if they want to. Or the Thresh. So, uh, I wrote a thing down, and it was kind of rude, but... I'm not, I'm not here to be nice, I'm here to be... a thinker. So, I wrote down that he's been playing a lot of Nami. Young 2 has been playing a lot of Nami. And... He, He's not won most of those. Like he's had a 29% win rate on Nami, so I was kind of hoping it was not going to be her. Still locked in though, as J4 is picked up for gadgets. We did see him play uh, J4 yesterday. Looked good. Also has the uh, bullet time from Vasco Pro to go over the Cataclysm. Also good. So that's a lot of lockdowns. Now Malphite taken away is a repeat of the last. And around as Nikki Thicky is gonna be forced into playing Garen probably again. Unless they ban it, just to see you know what you're gonna play. That's not the case. Sindra taken away from Kartmeier. Cash and Sindra strip off of him. Cash your uh, picked away. Still has something like Zoe, possibly uh, Kiana if we wanted to, but they're, they're already too heavy on 80 for that. So should be the AP mid laner. You're not allowed to say anything. <laughs> Ending up with the Oriana in the mid lane. Now we're just missing the jungle and top lane for esports gaming. And they are gonna bully Nikitiki, leaving the last pick for last as the top. With Swash is picking up Nunu. I were not looking too good in the last game. Opted for the Nunu, he played a lot of it in season two of the uh, Icelandic League, League number two. And now, Nikki Thicky forced to think. I'm gonna go for the Garen again. And what is Brunsi gonna pick against it? And now most of the things that Brunsi has been playing the most of have been banned away, the Aatrox uh, and Jax. It's gonna be the set. Set coming in on top lane. 
Hopefully it won't be a repeat of the last game because he looked absolutely dominating. All of these speculations are of course assuming that the accounts I see on challenge mode are the only accounts they are playing on. That is usually not the case. Well, I, I gotta appear like I know something, so... Use what knowledge I have. Oyon2 is coming out fighting in the chat. He uh, is gonna make a name for himself on this Nami. And she did get a buff, so her uh, E, Tide Colors Blessing, does now affect the abilities uh, when she buffs her, buffs her allies. So that's gonna be looking pretty good on our state. Also on the Cassiopeia, honestly. Loadout has been selected. We are getting into the three minute delay. One more time, possibly the final time tonight. And it does seem like Make It Quick have assembled all five pieces of the parcel, all five pieces of Bronze Sodia, as they have the Cataclysm from J4 into the Oriana Ultimate, into Bullet Time from Misfortune, over it all, the Glacial Fissure, the Lockdowns from the team. Could be a thing, possibly. But Esports Gaming are not willing to go gently into that good night. They have a bunch of uh, CC on there of their own. And a lot of damage coming out from Ips, potentially. Our state actually top of the damage chart in the last game. On the actual, so... Could go either way, but I... Again, I feel like Make It Quick have come out better in the draft. I feel that... Esports Gaming have too many holes in their champion pools. And those holes have been abused. Didn't feel like Garen was actually be bringing a lot to the table last time around. Uh, this is going to be the third time we see him play Garen. And every time it has seemed kind of meh. So the score is 1 for 0 for Make It Quick. They are one game away from completing this best of 3 and actually winning the uh, second loser's bracket. And they are fighting over who gets to play next Thursday in the Masters Tournament. And also who gets a spot in the Icelandic uh, Pro Division. Eight teams, four of them already qualified from the last uh, tournament. Last season, yeah. For them, the top four teams from the last season have automatically qualified into their third season. And this tournament, this uh, challenger tournament right now, was for both the glory and also to manage to get into the top eight teams that are playing in the Pro Division. So, a lot going on. And Esports Gaming cannot make any mistakes. If I was Allerstein and Nami, Allerstein and Yon 2, I would be a little bit worried that uh, Gadi would be looking to gank my lane. Nami has uh, several things in her toolkit uh, for the anti dive. She has this tsunami, she has the bubble, but they're both kind of squishy. It just feels like if Garen shows up. Karen. J4 shows up uh, in level 6, throws in Cataclysm into the Glacier Fisher from Braum. That's just gonna be them dying, so I need to be a little bit careful. Keep the uh, keep cat taps from where J4 is. If I had to guess, I would estimate that Swash is gonna ignore top lane and just try to go for mid and bot again. This time around, at it, least it's not uh, Jackson in top lane. He can ignore top lane. At least a bit. I'm just waiting for the thumbs up. You can hear that the people are loading into the game, and I think we are ready. Make it quick on the red side. One game in the pocket already. We saw an invite last time from Esports Gaming. 
Well, it doesn't look like they're going to repeat it. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. So, when Braum was first released, it was basically mandatory to do the animate. Like, his passive was stupidly OP in that level 1 fight. And it still is. It, it's not quite as good as it used to be, but still, like... You should look for a fight at level 1 with a Braum. Managed to push in a deep ward on the rep buff, so they should know that Swarcir is starting the blue one. Prompting Gadget to probably just go for his rep buff, so uh, Nuno just uh, just doesn't casually strut over to pick it up. But no, that is not what is happening at all. Swarcir is actually going to go for the right one, and will be spotted by that ward. Eventually. So what is Gadget gonna do? Everybody is late to lane, but they should estimate that Prince uh, was helping him. Let's make it back in time to pick up uh, most of this. Everything, really. So the thing J4XL said is the level 2, level 3 gank. Uh, he will ding level 3 from take the Gromp and the blue buff. And could go for uh, either mid or bot lane if he wants to. Swash is actually walking over to the blue buff. If you look at Swash, he's thrown at the snowball and he's coming in for a level 2 gank of his own. That's the red buff. There comes the giant, giant, giant snowball. It will have to land it on the level 1 something. Yon is knocked up. Yon is gonna burn down and gonna fall eventually. First blood going over to Auroste. With Esports Gaming picking up the first kill. And Swarcid making it look easy. As he is looking for something now. Uh, we'll have to flash away as he's locked in by Karnat. I think he forced off of his mini wave. We'll be able to pick up most of this, but. Had a rough game before. Could be rough again. I talked to Swazard a little bit before the tournament. Not a lot, but I got the feeling that they are looking to continue competing. They have been con uh, they have been playing together for a long time now. Uh, they're all friends. Uh, they're going to get ganked in the mid lane as J4 is coming in for the gank on Ips, who's taking super super low and is running the wrong direction, flashing over the wall. And Gadget not opting to follow as he does not know where Swazir is. But they've been playing together for a long time, and they want to keep playing together. And if they get knocked out now, that's it. Like, uh, that's going to be the season until the Major. That's going to be played in eight weeks, nine weeks, something like that. Where we're going to do a repeat of the Minor Tournament with an open uh, tournament to start with. There is... Ooh! -hoo! Flag and grab flash to secure a kill on Ips. And catch a dessert getting that one. That was smoothly done. Rinse and repeat. And honestly, Ips just overstating a little bit, especially since he does have that teleport, but... When you have nothing good to buy, yes... Wait... Okay, yeah, there it is. Waiting for the tier. I thought I was gonna teleport back in without buying anything. Still no pops though, so maybe something that... Uh, Cutline could have abused and try to send him back home. And Gazit is coming in again, look at mid, 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 mid. Spotted by the ward though this time, so not gonna pick anything up. And out comes the Snowball as Gadget is locked in, doesn't have the flash, gets a shield, not gonna be enough as he's taking so low, flag and grab on the wall to escape to where exactly? As Nikitiki is coming in for the roam, Prince is stuck on the turret, he's not gonna be able to do this. Maybe he's actually gonna manage to get the execute, but no, you have to go for the execute. Execute? No. Oh no, 
Ips does manage to pick it up with the Noxious Blast. Two kills now going over to Esports Gaming for sale. Much better start than last time, even though Kartmeier is hideously far away and see us. And Haxon actually can't back yet, so he's gonna be buying something pretty. Go for the Lost Chapter plus Boots, that's gonna keep him in lane for the longest time. This was good, bro, and Yon have pushed in their lane and are gonna look for this uh, early Master Dragon, but Swash it is close by, has to consume. So, in comes the Snowball, knocking Yon up. Hope it doesn't quite land. Teleport has come in from Nicky Thicky. Gadget is rooted, everybody is rooted. There comes Kartmar, he has the ultimate ready. He could throw some of it out, but Gadget is refusing to die. Just barely getting away. But Dragon probably gonna go over to Esports Gaming in the end as... Uh, don't get a kill for themselves, but win that team fight pretty convincingly. Now Snowball coming in mid lane again. Swasir does not want to go out yet. He wants to make a series out of it. He wants to get three games going. He's going to have to do something about that. She is lead in the top and middle lane as Prince is slowly but surely pulling ahead. Double up is up. such a fun ability. You're doing final lane, you're doing final lane, and suddenly half your health is gone. Which is never fun. Like Vasco Pro should be a little bit careful. He doesn't know where Swasir is. Swasir has like, hasn't actually been spotted by Ward yet, so. Playing a little bit brave for someone who's solo in lane up against potentially three enemies. Nuno is not gonna do a lot by himself. He has to help his uh, laners get the lead. Of course, pretty good at getting the objectives, but that's not enough to win League of Legends. Guys are looking for something, but Nunu pretty good at picking up camps. Has cleared them all out already. And now Snowball coming in top lane. So as running, 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 Brunsi. Going past this corner, drifting, boop, knocked up, shield comes out, not quite enough, throws Nikitik under the turret though, into the slam, doesn't get the stun though, so it's going so, so low, but Gadget not quite close enough. Princeton needs to respect the justice from Nikitiki. And maybe looking to catch Swazir in the jungle here, Karpmaier is close by, ooh, cheeky play, into the knockup, into the command shockwave, no, nope, doesn't come out though. Why? Okay. Well, saving it for a later date. As he's looking for more. Now Ipsis into the fight, doing a uh, ton of damage. Nikitiki coming in for the flank into the shockwave. Finally coming up for Kalman, who does go down though. Nikitiki picking up the kill. Now Gadget has to flash away. Brunsi also really low. With uh, Alvarez sent to the Arcane Barrage to help out. And make it quick, overstaying there, welcome, Gold Dead even though. Yeah. 
As they are now looking to go and say hello to the snake in the middle lane. Where's the snake on my turret? By say as yes, Vaxu Bro and Yon are looking for the flank, kind of trying to cast him off. If he does not have the Petrifying Gates, he basically does not stand a chance unless he manages to flash over the wall into these arms of Yon. Into the bullet time, the wave does come out, knocking Katma out of it. That's not gonna be enough as far as it has to fall here eventually. Bubble lands on Yon. Brom is a pretty tanky son of a bitch. And now Yon too, and all of a sudden looking in trouble as they are looking to continue this chase and picking up a third to kill for themselves. With finally Katma getting the kill. 3 and 1 on the Oriana. Set 20 years ahead in the top lane. And it seems to be a repeat of the last game where the middle and top lane pull ahead. Cloud Dragon coming up in 20 seconds. It's probably gonna be a yet another team fight as most people will be up and running by that point. Katmar just needs to be a little careful as Nikitik is coming in for the flank. Doesn't really much though, no, only the uh, page, which is not gonna do much. Brunsi doesn't really teleport, should be running in if they're actually gonna contest it, and if they're not, they honestly should just stay the hell away. It's only a single Cloud Drake, it's not that important not in the grand scheme of things. And Brunsi actually going for the Herald instead. Like it, like it. Could secure the first uh, turret in the top lane, but they can think it does spot him out and goes in to contest it. Now Swastik is locked down, is blown up. Good bubble there to keep him safe though. Teleport coming in from Nikitiki, he's coming in for the flank. Ips doing so much damage, too gadget, gadget gonna fall down now. Nikitiki spin into winning. They just don't manage to kill Swazir. Who walks away? Who's gonna heal back up and secure this dragon for themselves? Two dragons going over to Esports Gaming. And we are gonna have the Infernal Dragon Soul. Make it quick, of course, 300 IQ play of trying to get four Infernal Dragons. Or at least that's what they can tell themselves. Gold pretty even. But... Can we look at the gold for a sec? How does top lane look? So it's almost even though. Even if they pick seriously thanks to the kill. But now Gadget coming in has the Cataclysm up and running. Nikki Thicke does not have flash. This should mean that Nikki Thicke dies. In the end, she gets stunned here and actually slammed away from uh, Gadget. Gadget chasing with the Cataclysm, and that's a dead Nikki Thicke. Gadget, scumbag Gadget, picking up the kill yet again. Make it quick, still happy with the kill though. Uh, Swazi is gonna sneak away the blue buff, trading it for the Herald. Now potentially a snowball dive coming on to Vasco Bro and Yon on the bot lane. Not sure they have the damage for it though. We would need something more. Shelly numero no going down. Oh, it's a gadget. No turret gone down yet, although the turret blade has gone, the first turret blood is up. And ooh, Barrage coming out, hitting, <laughs> hello Snowball! And goodbye Vasco Pro, flashing away, keeping herself safe for a little tiny bit. And so as it takes the turret, Ignite not gonna be enough. And Yon honestly just needs to run away now, as they <laughs> otherwise they're just gonna do it again. With Ips teleporting back to mid, mid lane against Gadget and Kartmaur. Easy snowball in the world. Things looking a lot better now for esports gaming as the keep it kind of close. 
And the Infernal Dragon would be goddamn good with their composition. Infernal Dragon Soul, that is. And on the bot lane, potentially Skadget is working on that Scuttler. Just want to appreciate the uh, Triforce control world thing that's going on in the top half of the jungle. And Set is actually going deep here on Nikki Thicky, but he's taking the mini wave. Well, no, never mind, there goes the mini wave. As uh, Shelly's popped in the mid lane, they're gonna try and get this first turret. And maybe even be looking on the dive onto Ips. Need to be careful though, as the snowball is coming in. He gets knocked up. Doesn't matter though. Not sure that's what should happen normally, but Gadget does manage to get out in the end. Turret not going down. Well, Nicky Dick and Prince once again fighting in the river. The thing's looking a lot more even now in the top lane than it did in the last game. So as it has taken part in four of his team's uh, five kills so far, and he's looking for more. In comes the snowball into the tsunami, blocked by the unbreakable. Not gonna be enough though. Oh, flashing in the last possible second to get away. But at least securing the flash from Yon. But these gangs from Svazir have been working out almost every time now. A flash blown is a potential gank of the future as yet another ball comes running down the mid lane in the face of Cutlight, who will have to flash away probably. Nope, sad stuttering, throw the command, Shockwave, getting both of them. Good amount of damage on him, not gonna get the root though as he flashes over the wall. No gadget coming in. Uh, is he gonna be able to do anything though? Nigga, he's so, so low against Princey. Ooh, ooh, ho, ho, ho. Nice little tenth there by Prince. Doesn't quite land though, as Nicky Thicky barely escaped with his life. Slowly but surely losing that top turret. Nicky Thicky regenerating though quite a lot. Seems confident in going back in while there's potential fight around the dragon. Prince should go back to base, heal up, teleport in. Guys, it lock it down, Yon 2. Snowball is coming out, Bubble doesn't quite land as Vasco Bro is in the flank. Man, Shockwave not quite up from uh, Kartmaier. Damn assist though. Let's nice go deep here, locking two of them down in the Cataclysm. Trots are going golden. Ips trying to do damage from far away. Prince throws out the shield. He is pretty goddamn tanky, staying alive. Tidal Wave coming out to, onto Gadget. Spinning to winning from Nikki Thiki. Command Shockwave landing on nothing but the red buff. Not good enough as Ips is again. Deep in the fight, Vasco Pro solo, taken down by the Astral eventually. He's cutting around, he's doing so much damage. Nikki Thicky actually picking up the double kill, being crucial and ignored in this team fight. And I got doing so much damage now. Kurt Mother stuck in a real bad position as he is trying to get executed. Oh no. With his shot down going over to Alwar State. 404 on this astral enemy team not found. Yes, this is gonna be the third dragon of the game going over to Esports Gaming for sale. Only one dragon away now from the Dragon Soul. Clean little fight from then. Didn't get a manage to land the crucial ultimates. And Kartmeier whiffing his ultimate pretty deadly. Team still stupidly close in gold, close in kills, close in everything except for dragons, and the next dragon fight is gonna be blooded. Blood E. Coming up in uh, 4.5 minutes. As there's a fight here again in top lane, as the uh, bruisers are gently saying hello to each other. Trinity Force in store for uh, Nikki Tiki. We 
looking at a much different hour state than we saw yesterday, I do believe, but now Ips may have overstepped. Petrifying case on both of them, though. Uh -huh. Well, he expected the follow-up, didn't quite come out, though, as the Petrifying Gage was just too good. Looking down both Waska Bro and Yon. Uh, this should finally be the first turtle of the game going down over to make it quick. Allowing them to reduce the gold lead again to barely nothing. And now it's Noble in the mid lane as Swarset is coming in yet again. Kartman does not have flash this time around. It's gonna come in, it's gonna land. The shockwave is not enough as Ips picks up yet another kill. While Nikitik and Brunsi are fighting in the top lane. Brucer against Brucer, both of them have regeneration passes, both of them will be up and uh, running pretty soon. Or will they though, as the showstopper comes in, just as it's thrown out, Brinsley taking solo! Oh, but healing up just to barely stay alive. And uh, meanwhile in mid lane, there's the fighter, Swazgood Bro takes down Swazis, nerf! As Brinsley picks up the third turret of the game, Toto and Ips now fully stacked, Stiderwell coming out, just barely not hitting them! But the Arcane Barrett, two Shepherds. Does pick up the kill as Ips also takes down Gadget and suddenly it's Esports Gaming running away with the game. Full time will clear the wave, but... Ooh, really? Really? Well... That was a fair trade. Fair all around. Good job. Nobody gets to have a shutdown bonus except for our lost it. State at this point is massively fed. He is competing for the most seasons in the game. He has 9,100 gold under his belt. Uh, most out of anybody in the game. And he has a lot of stuff around him to keep him safe. Nami's pretty good. He also has the slow from uh, the absolute zero. That's why she can throw out. So now they're basically just trying to play around our state, play around Ips. They're doing all the damage. They are plenty enough at this point in time. So just keep Brunsi and Gadget and Cutman and all of them away from them. Try to lock down the main threat. And our standard Ips will handle the rest. Potentially the final elemental dragon coming up in 1 minute 30 seconds. So you never want to be on smite fight with a Nunu. He has the consume, he should get the dragon. So, if you're gonna try to compete for the dragon, you should kill Swazi first. And that's what they may be looking for. Snowball thrown out. Just casually gonna drift into the enemy team. Kartman taking the. Mm hmm. I don't think we need to see that. I think it's just a clean, like. Ips lands an Oxy's blast, and then it's just Twin Fang, Twin Fang, Twin Fang, Miasma, slow. Oh no, yeah, you can't do anything about that. And uh, that should mean that uh, Beast Force Gaming can actually use that opportunity to go and put down some wards, get total vision control around the track of it, as Make It Quick cannot contest unless they have cut him out up and running. He will be up before the dragon. This is gonna take a long time, let's look at mid lane instead. Miasma is thrown out, so much damage going over to Gadget, he's taking solo! Just finally managed to stay alive thanks to the heal from Vaskut Bro. Nice to summon a burn though! Alvar stayed, you cheeky! Picking up the kill yet again with the Chusa Paras. Third, uh, third of the game going over for Esports Gaming. And that should probably be the dragon. Gadget will be up, could run for it. But Nikitik is pushing top lane. Young, what are you doing, my friend? Tidal wave coming out, doesn't quite manage to land. Glacier Fish is thrown to lockdown. Always there, there comes Brunsi, he's looking for it. Flashes in. Doesn't quite manage to land it. He's a snowball to the face. At least they managed to blow the summoners from Aura State, which is pretty crucial. Still, though, someone has to go answer Nikitiki, who's working on the tier, tier, tier 2 turret top. Try to say that three times quickly. As they are again in the slap fight between Garen and Zed. Slap, slap, slap at the slap, but Nikitiki on this Garen is regenerating at an absurd pace. 
Now Dragon is going to be started up, and I do not believe they can do anything about it. It would have to be right now. Not going to be enough, as the Dragon is taken down by Swazim, and that's the Infernal Dragon Soul. And they're flashing in there, trying to lock them down. Snowball comes out, Trusa Parage does not quite manage to pick up Vasco Pro. Now Kati going in with the Cataclysm on top of Ips, that's going to be enough. Or is it though? Vasco Pro doing so much damage to them. Taking so low, Nicky Thicky picking up the double kill going on Katamai, looking for the triple now. Brunzi not going to be doing anything else, jumping in. Well, Lance is done, picks the kill, Ips going down. Ace is hat. Esports Gaming not ready to give it up quite yet. They want to make a three game series out of it. And they are looking strong as Alrestain is now 8 and 0 on this Ezreal. Doesn't matter that it does a flash and heal. The rest of his team are more than sufficient to keep him safe. Now pushing in the tier 2 turret. Running it down mid lane. Well, that should be good enough for them. They are now 5k gold ahead with the Infernal Dragon Soul. And things are looking rough for Make It Quick. Deja vu, do do do. <laughs> <laughs> we can tell the Swaz didn't ever play the Deja vu games. But uh, still, he has had a great game. Like, don't. He, he's 0 5, yeah. But ignore that. He has 15 assists. He has been crucial in all the other games for uh, Esports Gaming. His role is basically just go in. Uh, lock, st lock stuff down with the slow from Absolute Zero, throw the stuns, get the get the uh, Call of the Frail Yards on top of Ezreal. And he's doing a great job of it. If he's the one dying, that's great, because that means Ips and Alrestain are up and running, and they are doing all the damage. In the last team fight, Ips did go down eventually. Didn't matter though, as Alrestain is phenomenal at this point. Good old Baron Dance thrown out as the vision control completely on the side of esports gaming for sale. Apes in the bottom lane pushing slowly but surely. Does the teleport to join the fight if he needs to. And so Alistair doesn't have flash. Maybe this is the moment to try to lock him down with the cata Cataclysm plus no uh, plus uh, Oriana ultimate combo. But I'm not sure there's gonna be enough. Bion 2 is healing for a lot. He has the redemption as well. The dance continues as Ips happily pushes in the bottom lane. Brunsi now taking it pretty low into the snowball. Sterix is pop, Absolute Zero is thrown. Brunsi going deep here into the Cataclysm, into the bullet time. Over all of them, Gadget picking up the kill on Yon 2, but doesn't matter as Alrastain is untouched yet again. Nikki Nikki only wants to eat the Shockwave. Triple kill picked up for Alrastain. This could be the Pentakill. Honestly, nope. Ips picking up the kill eventually, but that's a clean ace, except for Yon 2 going down. That's going to be the Baron as well. And this is probably the goddamn game. 12 and 0 on the Ezreal, looking obscenely strong. And honestly, how do they deal with him? They do not have the long range tools to stop him. They, they need the gadget card my combo of Cataclysm plus Ball. That's not enough. Our state should always be able to arc and shift away. He also has the flash now up and running. Honestly, I just want to see him go for the Guardian Angel just in case uh, if he misses positions or does something stupid. It seems like he's going for the Bloodthirster instead. So, not going to be lacking for damage. Uh, Bloodthirster is also good in that he can have uh, he can stack up the shield before fights. And also, he's so slippery that even though he's taking low, he can get out and heal up really quickly with, uh, uh, with his Mystic Shot, with all of his abilities. Just go back into the fight. Plan looked good last time. Nikki Thicky now in a much better position of actually uh, dealing with Brunsi. I, I do believe he's actually favored at this point, especially for the Baron buff, so they could go for the 1 3 1 if they want to. Although they don't have the teleports for it. But Ips should be able to deal with anybody. 1 1. This is not a 1 1 though, as Swans is throwing out the snowball, being locked down potentially by Gadget. But who's cut out? Who they say is Yon is taking so low. Our stand is not down. Unbreakable is thrown up. It is not enough. Tidal Wave locking down Princey, locking down Gadget. And now they're just going in. Our stand, Arkin, shifting forward. Ow E. Ow E. 
Two separate yeah, Not quite enough. Still, that means Vasco Pro is out of the fight. That's going to mean the inhibitor third is going to go down. And they cannot just do anything about our state. He is running wild now. <laughs> he is holding them out. Flashes in to try to get them. Get it throwing out the Cataclysm. Bullet time. Make it rain. Not going to be enough. Cartman throwing out. Decent shockwave. But it just doesn't do damage at this point to Ips and Nikki Thicky. <laughs> this is a clean game coming from Esports Gaming for sale. This is not gonna. This is not gonna be a 2-0 victory for Make It Quick, as they, as they have been obliterated in this one. We are gonna go into the third game. We are gonna so, see how it goes. Eventually, as the teams go into the turret, fountain, stuff. But in the end, Nexus goes down. Esports Gaming one, Make It Quick one.